Welcome to the Adobe Sign video on utilizing audit reports. Audit reports can show you how a document has been manipulated from the moment it was created until it was fully resolved. They can be saved as PDF files and printed for internal processes as needed. Today, I'll show you how to view agreement history, select who can get a copy of the audit report, and configure settings based on your organization's needs. To access the audit report, log into Adobe Sign and go to the Manage page. Click on the status of the agreement you want to see. You can see agreements that are in progress, waiting for you, completed, canceled, or expired. Next, click on the name of the agreement to open the action rail on the right. Click Download Audit Report, and the PDF will download automatically. Once it downloads, open the audit report. The audit report contains the following milestones. Document events. For example, creation date, creator name and email, status, transaction ID, and modifications and recipient action. The audit report shows all events standardized to the GMT time zone. This simplifies the data for auditors when there are users accessing the agreement across multiple time zones. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to change the default time zone. Audit reports are stored separately from the agreements in the Manage tab. If you delete an object from the Manage page, it does not delete the audit report. The audit report has two stages the interim report, and the final report. The interim report is an incomplete report. It shows the transactions that have happened so far in the agreement that has not been finalized yet. It is subject to change as recipients perform logged events. Interim reports are clearly marked at the top of the report to ensure they cannot be misinterpreted as final documents. The final report is generated and stored once the agreement reaches a terminal state, such as signed, canceled, declined, or expired. No further events in relation to the transaction will be added to the report. It is a full report of what took place to get the document signed and nothing else. Now that you know how to download and view an audit report, I'll show you optional audit report settings available to you. One option is to request IP addresses from the recipients for the audit report. By default, Acrobat Sign does not record IP addresses, but if that information is valuable to your organization, you can change that setting at the account or group level. IP address collection is available to enterprise, business, and small business tiers of service. To enable the collection of IP addresses, go to Account Settings, then Signature Preferences, then Additional Settings. Click Request IP Addresses from Signers and hit Save. Now, any agreement sent from this group will automatically collect IP addresses in the audit report for all events, not just signatures. To disable this option, you would go through the same steps I just showed you. In addition to requesting IP addresses, you can also decide who gets a copy of the audit report in the signed and filed email. To review this option, go to the Global Settings page. For a group level adjustment, you would go to Group Settings. By default, the audit report is set to send to all, but you have two other options. You can change the setting to Never, meaning no one gets the audit report, or you can change it to For Sender Only, so only the sender of the agreement gets the audit report. Always is the default option, in which case all participants get a copy of the audit report. You can also choose whether documents downloaded by a user will include the audit report as part of the agreement PDF. This option is disabled by default, but it can be enabled at the account or group level. You can change this on the Global Settings page or the Group Settings page if you're making the change on a group level. As an administrator, Another setting you can change at the account and group levels is the default time zone for agreements. To make these changes, go to Account Settings, Global Settings, then set a default time zone. Set the time zone that fits your organizational needs, then Save. Users can configure the time zone setting for themselves as well. User level settings will override any group level settings. I just showed you how to manage the time zone for agreements, and now I'll show you how to change the time zone for audit reports. As I mentioned earlier, all audit reports default to the GMT time zone, but administrators have the option to use the account or group configured time zone instead. After enabling this feature, it applies to all future agreements created. The time zone cannot be adjusted on already completed agreements. Thank you for joining me today to learn how to access, utilize, and configure audit reports to suit your customer and organizational needs. For an in-depth look at audit trails and how to use them to benefit your organization, Check out the help backs on this page.